Hey guys, uh, you're here with Mark the Outworld Grow Coach here at PerfectGardens.com. Just uh, we we always get a lot of great posts on this um, small grow tent package with no CO2. No CO2. Just coming down to a question down here that was posted. Um, a customer mentions. Uh, the whole point uh, is to lower the temperature of the light uh, instead uh, so it can be placed closer to the plants, giving more lumen without burning. It's, you know, there's two parts to this. You know, um, in in science they always say there, uh, energy is never destroyed, it's just displaced. So when you're taking that into consideration that you're in a grow tent and there's silver reflective tape all over the place, walling, when that air, when that light comes down, the light's just bouncing all uh, all over the place. So it's just it's it's actually not going anywhere. It's um a very little of it's being absorbed into the into the into the sides because there's no really black anything. It's silver, so it's reflecting. So really, the the energy isn't really being uh, wasted. Um, so when you take that into consideration, you then come come into the thought process of, well, how do you maximize that light that is circulating in that room? You know, how do you maximize that absorption of those of those lumens? And I, a lot of times, if you actually follow European growers, they do not uh, put the light uh, f close to the plants. They actually put them fairly high up. And over the years, I've actually gravitated to that type of the growing process where I don't try and drop the lights uh, uh, right on top of the plants. I actually use the, the, the hood um, as a temperature, uh, as, a, like a, as a heater for the room. And because I'm I'm using the the light the hood um, to control the environment the lumens the light what I found which HIDs and metal highlights is that uh, it gives a single focal point uh, of light so you actually see uh, light intensity uh, a little, at times you'll see burnage directly underneath the plant or the bulb but you you might see the uh, you might see the rest of the plants look green and then the center plants look a little yellow um, when it's directly underneath the bulb. And that's because that plant is is kind of going through a little bit more a tougher environment than the rest of the plants. And so it might be growing a little bit faster, going through a little bit higher, um, high like high uh, light intensity. Uh, so you, you end up, uh, the plant just ends up getting beat up o over and over and over. Over a course of a grow, you know the plant, the leaves are going to get dried out, and they're going to begin to get brittle, and and they're no longer going to uh, absorb that light. So uh, this, the whole point to this is uh, dropping the light um, and the temperature. There's two two things to consider. There's temperature, and then there's light intensity. Okay, the the hood uh, and the 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 filter is really pulling heat out of the room and controlling the environment in the room so that the plants are in the best environment so that they can grow um, uh, vigorously. They can get big, they can get tall, they can get strong without, uh, with the best environment of, of uh, without having powdery mildew and creating the right uh, the environment so there's so it's uh, you get spider mites or any of those other pests so it's all about con creating that right environment and then the light intensity is, if you drop that hood uh, at many times you're going to actually burn the plants directly underneath it not because of the heat but because of the light intensity that the bulb is giving off those that focal point. So I just want to give you that type of consideration and into that whole thought process into indoor growing and when you get to getting started into your grow tents. I uh, hope you enjoy the video and please check out more uh, more of our uh, more of our videos as we keep going. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Have a great day, guys.